All right. Today's notes are going to be on exploring rates. All right, unit 5.9. And in order to start exploring rates, we kind of need to understand the difference between a ratio, which we've been dealing with uh, for the last number of lessons, and a rate. So a ratio, remember, happens to be a comparison between parts of a collection. Example, uh, you have a collection of, uh, of shoes, and you can compare running shoes to dress shoes, or um, boots to shoes, all in a, in a collection of, of items. Kind of like we did with M&Ms, where you have a comparison between red M&Ms and green M&Ms. All right? Whereas a rate is a comparison between two things with different units. All right? An example of that type of comparison uh, would be if we have five sandwiches. for every two people. That's a rate, all right? We have uh, two different objects, two different units, all right? But we're comparing them. And at the same time, uh, uh, under rates, we have what are called unit rates, OK? All right, a comparison between two things and um, you're comparing one thing, right, to, um, we'll just call it, comparing something to the quantity of one unit. It's a unit rate comparison, and you see these all the times. Uh, speed limit in Campbell River, okay, is 50 kilometers per hour. All right. Another one is uh, in products. You have um, toilet paper, 500 sheets per roll. Right, those are unit comparisons, unit rate comparison. What today's lesson is going to focus on is um, basically trying to convert between uh, rates that you're given and turn them into a unit rate. Um, for example, we have uh, this problem. Okay, I'll just pause. And then we'll I'll write the problem down. Okay, so we have this problem now. We have a, a printing press prints 120 sheets in three minutes. So I changed my color here. 120 sheets in three minutes. So what we want to do is express the printing as a unit rate. Uh, from our previous lesson, we learned how to cross, multiply, and divide. And, and we can still do that. What we're going to do is we're going to express this in the form of a fraction. We have 120 sheets in three minutes. And we're wondering, we're wondering, well, how many sheets, and I'll use A to represent the number of sheets, how many sheets would there be in one minute? All right? And we can apply the same principles of cross multiplying and then dividing to figure out what A is. So we end up here, by cross-multiplying, we end up with 3 times A, so that's 3A, equals, and then 120 times 1, well, any number times 1 right now is that number, so 3A equals 120. Then we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. That'll cancel out our 3's, so we're left with A equals 120 divided by 3 should be 40. All right? So express the printing as a unit rate. You get uh, 40 sheets per minute. 
and that's how we get it as a unit rate. Now we have a second question here, and it simply says, okay, well, how many sheets are printed in an hour? So we go, we can write it like this. If we know 120 sheets are printed in three minutes, what we're trying to find out is how many sheets, let A be there again, are printed in 60 minutes. Okay, then we can simply do the same thing. We cross multiply. There's, there's a number of different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you this way, just to stay consistent so that once you learn this, you can apply it across many different types of problems. So we have 3A equals 120 times 60. So you would do that on your calculator. So 120 times 60 is 7200 equals 3A, and we divide both sides by 3, because that allows us to cancel out the 3 here, and we get A equals 2400. 2400 sheets per hour, because there's 60 minutes in an hour, right? And that's how you explore rates, right? And you can solve problems using rates. Uh, so your job is to do on page 298, I'll change the color back to black here, page 298, numbers 4 to 8, and then question 12. And all of those questions can be done using this process, whether it's converting it to a unit rate or what, whatever. We should still, I want to see the work that you do for that. All right, and that's your assignment.